you're looking for a hat trick of world titles. What, what is it about you and world championship years? <laughs> I wish it wasn't something about me in Olympic years, <laughs> but um, I just started off the competition, so I'm excited to be here and to have another chance to run a fast 200 meters. So looking forward to getting started. Marshall, I know you've got a communications degree, I think, so perhaps you should be asking the questions rather than rather than me. But um, and I know you've got a bit of a preference, or I read about a preference, you have the 100 meters over the 200 meters, over the 200 here. Would you, um, would you rather be doing the 100 today? Well, maybe one day I'll do the questions. But um, I think that I've made the team the 200 meters, so that's my focus. Uh, I trained for the 100 meters throughout the year, but I had the base down, so the 200 just came naturally. So I'm looking forward to the team. And how confident are you winning a medal? I think the sky's the limit. I'm not going to limit myself. I know I've trained hard. I put in the work, so I'm ready to go out there and do everything I have. Now, looking at the, the world ranking of the South, there's quite a sizable gap between you and your rivals. I think it's 0.35 at the top of the list. Debbie Ferguson is uh, behind you. Um, do you think that gap accurately reflects the dominance and supremacy you have over the rest of the Zimani uh, Well, I feel like the 200, a lot of people haven't competed uh, so much in it. I think focus has been elsewhere this season. And um, so I think that my rivals are in top form. We've seen a lot of them in, in the 100. And so I think that you can never count anyone out. And I think it'll be a fast race. And a lot is made of this rivalry between yourself and Veronica Campbell Brown. You both wear the same sort of shoes as well, don't you? Um, you know her very well. You've seen her running over the course of the last couple of weeks. You may have been watching the hundreds over the last day or so. Do you think she's in the sort of form this season that she's been in in seasons past? Um, well, I can't really speak too much for her, but I mean, she looks great in the hundred rounds. She looks in top form, and um, I think the 200 is her better race. So I think that we'll see a really great competition and hopefully some really fast times. Yeah, let's talk about the 100 for a couple of moments. It's probably not a bad one to be missing actually this week. I think it's wide open. I think it depends on who gets the best start and who really wants it the most because everybody's great to feel. And, and Alison, you've, um, you don't do so many hundreds these days, do you? I mean, what, what are your thoughts? It's, it was incredibly competitive, wasn't it? The start of the 100 two years ago when you could throw the plank over the first five. Could be the same tonight. Who particularly impresses you in the 100 field? Who do you think maybe goes into it as a favorite? Um, I don't know if you can say you know, you know who the favorite is. I know Karan has been looking extremely well. Kamalita looks great, and so I think it's going to be a fantastic race when you have that many competitors, you know, at the top of the game right now. And Marsha Bet, you ran, I think it was 2284 in Stockholm. Do you think you've progressed since then? Oh yeah, I think I progressed. That was my second race in the state, so I was just really trying to get into the of it, but I've been able to get now, so I what have you been doing over the course of the last 10, 14 days? Have you been uh, basing yourselves in Germany, Alison? Um, before I was here, I was in Paris, and then we um, came over for a relay camp, and so we've been getting great workouts in, and now just tapering off and waiting to start competition. You were involved in that cockpit race, weren't you? Yes. That, that was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, there's great chemistry with the girls, and I think we're all um, on the same page, and we're looking forward to that race. Tell us about the U.S. Uh, reading this morning. It's not winning yet. Marshall, tell us what you're doing. I think we have a great group of girls. Um, anyone you put on there can get it done, so it's just really confident knowing that we can get it done all together like that. Okay, questions from the floor, please. If anybody uh, has questions for Alison. Yeah, sure. I have one here. Alison, uh, I saw you start from doing it and uh, now it's been a few weeks. Uh, where do where you stand now in uh, comparison to that? Uh, well, I've been able to get a, a lot of great workouts in, since then, so I've been focusing a lot on mechanics and on uh, running a strong curve, so hopefully I've made a lot of progress and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing how much um, in these coming days. Do you think about the times? How low can you go? I think when you when you step into a race like that with a lot of great competitors, I don't really focus on the time. I know that if I can win, focus on you know trying to, to win, then the time will come. In Stockholm, that's that's got a favorite spot of yours, isn't it, Alison? I remember a couple of years ago you were running a very good 400 there. 
you've gone there to run the two this time. Is that almost a little bit part of the plan? Uh, yeah, well, I always love running there. It's an amazing atmosphere. I love that stadium. So, yeah, I normally run there every year. I think it's my fifth year this year, so it's definitely on the schedule. And, uh, Marsh I, I understand, um, you've obviously got more than one eye on what's going on this week. You've got a big day, haven't you, coming up in a few weeks' time. I mean, how, how are you managing to cope with the, the parallel pressures of one, competing in the World Championship, with two, sorting out a wedding dress and a wedding cake? Well, right now, kind of put the wedding to the side. It's time to focus on getting ready to run. Everything's pretty much done. My fiance does a good job of making sure I don't have too much to worry about. So we'll focus on running and we'll worry about everything else later. Well, who's booking the venues? Who's sorting out the wedding dress? Who's sorting out the wedding dress? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, there's only one person who can deal with those things. That's you, isn't it? Um, no, actually, right now my fiance is taking everything on full force. <laughs> He's obviously a good man. Yes. Um, let's talk about your coach as well. Another good man. I first uh, came across him almost 20 years ago, and I couldn't believe what was uh, what was talking to me. John Drummond. Has he, uh, has he calmed down at all since his athletics pro came to an end? He's quite a character, isn't he? Of course not. He's never going to calm down. I mean, but he's great. He keeps the... It's always, it's always a laugh, but uh, he keeps the intensity up, and that's one thing I really like about working with him. What are his great attributes as a coach? I think that he relates really well to the athlete. At the perspective of training, um, you know, he knows, you know, as far as the fatigue and just, you know, dealing with with losses and still with wins. I just think it's really easy just to communicate with him on that level. Thank you.